Hello, I am Ferris Pilot, and you are watching Let's Play Pillars of Eternity. Last time around, we killed yeah. Lord Raedric and his men, and we're gonna just about to loot their bodies. You know, Spellrite's tome, we should probably give that to a loth here. Uh, he's gonna he's gonna gather a bunch of wizard tomes. What is this? A fine robe. Um, that's really good, actually. No, nah, it's not that good. It's DR5, but recovery speed is minus 15, which is not amazing. But I think I think a loth could actually make good use of it. I like it to have him cast faster if possible. These heavy plate armors are a little bit annoying in that they reduce our attack damage. Justice is a great sword, which probably is going to go on probably is gonna go on Sharknado at the very least. Uh yeah, probably gonna put that on Sharknado. And this is just a regular wand, and the rest of the stuff is just regular stuff. So we're just going to put that in our stash here. I said we're just going to put that in our stash here. Do you not understand what I'm trying to say, game? Uh, yeah, okay. Just just take it. Okay, good. Yeah. So we got a lot of stuff. And one thing I really like about this game that you might have noticed, yeah. the choices are all kind of like gray. There's no real like, this is the correct choice, right? You could have just as well killed Kolsch, and that would have been just as good of a choice. It would have probably been a little bit easier, but, uh, you know, yeah. You made the right choice, brother. We'll turn this village around. Forgive me, friend. There is mm -hmm. much to do, but we will not forget what you've done for us, right? No so th this episode is basically just going to be me looting this entire uh, thing. And, you know, I might some skip some stuff. I might not. We'll see. But we'll see what they have to offer here. Can we open this door? Yeah, we can. Okay, good. Oh, man, that's nasty. Dude, this guy just killed his wife and his kid. Like, that's mostly why I did it. I'm like, dude, you can't just, like, kill your wife and your kid. And holy shit, that's, uh... Really fucking bad what just happened. What the fuck? Probably should have watched out for the traps, eh? But these minor gauntlets of accuracy are totally worth it. Wow. Plus plus three plus three accuracy is really good. I don't know who we should give those to. For now I'm gonna put them on on uh on Sharknado, I guess. Her okay, her accuracy is 35. Uh, Dingle Bingle's accuracy is 38. A lot's accuracy is 18. And Idair's accuracy is 35. And Durant's accuracy is 33. So I think maybe a lot because he has the lowest accuracy. And also his glove spot is not taken yet. So we can give that to him. Although that being said, I mean, really, is it necessary? I don't know. His accuracy is low because probably, uh, no, well, he's a mostly a spellcaster. But you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll give it to him. We'll, we'll allow him to have it. I think it's a good choice. And I don't know if this S-Talk is better. It's it's 19 to 27. And it also does DR reduction, which is amazing. This is 19 to 27. And I think it's additional crushing lash. That's is what it has. Yeah. So it just, it has additional crushing lash. So it does more crush damage. But I mean, I, I really, I think the DR reduction is kind of better. Honestly. Like, it seems that way to me. So I'm just going to keep it. Um, hmm. Maybe we could sell the other thing that we had. But that's about it. Okay, so apparently Raedric's keep is, like, super buggy now. And I can't go back to certain areas. But I gathered what I could uh, from the area. So I gathered some of these. All right, these are basically all I got. I got this fine spear, which I'm not going to use. I got this blunting belt, which um, reduces damage from Slash and Pierce, which I'm probably going to put on a deer here. I got this fine dagger, which again, I'm probably not going to use. And I got this fine male armor, which I think I'm actually going to put on either a deer or on Sharknado. I think maybe on... Like, I mean, a deer, he doesn't have a lot of uh, damage resistance, but the second chance ability is like so good, right? I don't want to take it off of him because it's just... It, it adds so much survivability, right? And... It, it doesn't reduce uh, de attack speed very much. So I'm going to put this fine male armor on Sharknado instead. And that's going to reduce her recovery speed quite substantially. But it's, what it's also going to do is it's going to improve her damage resistance a lot. So I think it's worthwhile because of the uh, substantial bonus in terms of damage resistance as well. Because last time around when we fought Raedric, she went down real quick in the battle. So <laughs> I think this is going to be just fine. Um, let's go back to... Uh, Let's go back to the Gilded Vale and rest our heroes. And then afterwards, we can finally head on down to Cade Nua uh, and continue our journey, I think. I don't think there are any more quests to do in the Gilded Vale, so that should be good to go. So we just need to go to the inn and heal up. So let's turn on the D and then go to the inn. 
And one thing you might have noticed is that Raedric fight was a little bit, uh, a little bit of a clusterfuck, and I think that has to do with just... That's kind of the problem with real-time with pause combat. It always ends up like that, regardless of how you really try and maneuver it. It's never going to be very orderly, which, you know, realistically in a battle is not going to be very orderly, but I feel like if you're making a video game, you kind of want it to be a little bit more orderly than it is, because otherwise it just sort of ends up being like a mosh pit or something where you don't really know what's going on. So that's one thing that I don't like so much, but I mean, it has to do with the style okay. of combat. And that was the case in Baldur's Gate 2. That was the case in uh, Planescape Torment 2. And that was the case in Icewind Dale 2. So you know, it's, it's just real time with pause combat in, in an RPG. You're going to have that. There's no real way around it. So I don't really know what to tell you guys. I, I am going to check out the blacksmith's wares because he said let, next time you're here, I'm probably going to be having better stuff. So, you know, maybe he does. And if he does, then I would like to maybe purchase some because we have some we have some stuff we can sell for money, actually. We have some fine equipment, which I imagine sells for more than uh, more than the typical stuff. So we can talk to him right now and see what he has Hello. to sell. I'd like to see your wares, good sir. We're not really in a lead of need for money, so I think I'm just going to trade this away. Yeah, that's fine. Keep the books, why not? And, oh yeah, this is what I wanted to look at. The Spellwright's Tome. Because we can maybe learn some spells from it. The Rolling Flame Attack. Yeah, we didn't know that, right? And Kolkoth's Corrosive Siphon. Eats away at the target spirits and inflicting corrosive damage. This does a Miasma of Dull Mindedness. Attacks Will. What does that do? Minus Perception, minus Intellect, minus Resolve. This does a Rolling Flame. <clears throat> we can learn this. What is this? Kolskath's Parasitic Staff. Summons a Quarter Staff. It's not so great. This jolting touch, it requires you to touch enemies, which is not so great. We'll take Rolling Flame, why not? Seems like a good thing to learn. I mean, we have so much money, we might as well just learn them. In any case, right? There's no reason not to. Um, yeah. A lot. Oh, the reason we didn't want to equip it, because he has this armor of overseeing, which gives him some additional area of effect. But we can always equip this on Dingle Bingle here, because he's equipped with, like, utter trash, which we want to get rid of. Apparently, we can't just get rid of it, which kind of sucks, but okay. All right. Dingle Bingle, uh, first of all, give some potions of endurance to uh, to the fighters, right? How do you split a stack in this game? I don't really know. Can we... No? Just can't split a stack? Oh, there we go. All right. Take two of them, and we'll give them to a deer. Keep, uh, keep some of that alcohol there. We forgot to sell this fine dagger. We might as well just keep it for now. And yeah, minor ring of deflection. I think we will give to a deer. I think we're good to go, honestly. We'll give this scroll of protection on this quick item slot. I, not on a deer. We'll give it to, uh, give it to, uh, give it to, uh, Dingle Bingle, I guess. Why not? Sure. Yeah, that seems fine. Okay. And the wheat, we'll, we'll throw that in our stash. Uh, there's Baratheon robes. Why can't I get rid of them? I don't I don't want them anymore. Game, just discard. Alright, we'll just toss them in our stash, I guess. Okay. Yeah. No problem. Good stuff. We're done. Did I forget to turn on my timer? I did not. I actually remembered to turn it on this time. <laughs> I'm learning, you guys. Okay, I just spent like a long ass time on inventory management, which kind of sucks, but you know what? I think it's important to uh, equip our party up correctly. Look at, uh, look at, look at Dingle Bingle. He's looking fancy, eh? Pink ass robe. Nice unicorn horn. Thinks he's hot shit. You know what? I'm going to give him a pistol as well. I think it's, uh, his outfit. His outfit is not complete until he gets that pistol here. Oh, yeah. What a baller. Look at this shit. You saw him walking down the street. You'd be terrified for your life, man. <laughs> okay. This is not an exit, I'm afraid. Oh, it is an exit. Cool. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Ah, yes. Okay, let's go to Kate Nua. Let's go to Kate Nua. I guess we need to go to the Black Meadow first, and then we can go uh, east to Kate Nua or something like that. That's uh, probably going to work pretty well for us. I really wish some of the party members we had were not like these boring-ass classes like Priest and Wizard and Fighter. I wish they were cool-ass classes like Chanter and Monk and shit like that. Mostly Chanter, because I... That was like the one I wanted to play, but I couldn't. Oh, that was a Shrine of Galloway and cool. Where we fought those like weird Ent things. 
and uh, Durant became Kevin Durant for us. What is with these dragons? <laughs> it's a little bit scary, you gotta admit. You know, what, why am I walking on slow mode? I mean, on regular mode. I should be walking on fast mode. Yeah. Let's go to Kate Nua. Yeah. Is Kate Nua a settlement or is it just like... Is it just like another wilderness map? Well, we'll see once we get there, I suppose. And you know what? We still have one party member slot remaining. So, got some... Uh, got some... Got an opportunity for this. Man, Kate Nua looks pretty sick. Oh, yeah. I think there are probably enemies around here. I may be wrong. No. Okay, there's a guy here. This guy's probably going to join our party. He seems like the type. Kana, just off the side of the path into Kate Nua stands an imposing figure. A tall, thick-set Amua, clad in worn armor and peering up at the outer walls of the keep. In his hand is a small piece of charcoal and works feverishly at taking notes upon a small scrap of paper. More than once, he has to reach up to prevent his colorful cap from falling off his head as he gazes upward. That moldy brickwork must be fascinating. The man looks over at you, blink blinking in surprise. His face splits in a wide, toothy grin, and he waves the parchment in greeting. It is. Well, not the wall itself, perhaps. The construction is very traditional. There are names scratched upon some of the bricks. Just there. Workers and masons, I expect. Carving a little immortality for themselves. It's a fine keep, Cat Noir. Two centuries to its name, and abandoned for nearly as long. I like this guy's, like, Maori war tattoos. Look pretty sick. But the truly interesting part is in there, and I haven't had much luck in reaching the keep itself. I hoped to find the master of this place, a man by the name of Meerwald. But it seems that he either holds his privacy most dear, or else has been devoured by his house guests. I'm looking for a Meerwald as well. Oh, truly? Then perhaps we can help one another. The grounds are infested with all manner of beasts. I've never seen the like. I didn't want to risk it alone. But you seem capable. Together, I'm sure we could manage it. And then we can both ask our questions of Meerwald. I seek a great treasure, you see. Not gold or silver, but the Tanvi Oratoa. You might call it the Book of Virtues. It's a sacred text of the Rauatai, but we possess only a fragment of it. A year I've journeyed in search of the rest, and I uncovered evidence that leads me to believe the original lies just there, beneath the keep. Then we must find it. Why would this Tavari Oratoha be in the Deerwood? Precisely, that is the very question. He laughs. It is a long and twisting tale, my friend, as all good chants should be. Here's a chanter! Oh my god, I want him in my party so bad! Excellent. Lead on, my friend, and I will be at your heels. Ah, wait. Speaking of that, I ought to warn you first. Wondrous teeth, I nearly forgot. I have, at times, been followed. It began in Adir, and in Examatal they attacked outright. I believe they do not wish for me to find what I am looking for. I say believe, but I have been told as much by one of my would-be assassins. I paid them little mind. Humorless swords in long robes. But it's why I bought the sword, you see. And it's only fair that you should know. What are a few assassins between friends? <laughs> I'm glad you're not discouraged. Come then. Who knows what we will find inside? I don't care, you're a chanter, dude. You want assassins? I'll fight assassins, because you're a chanter. You get to be on my team any day of the week. What kind of sword is this? Fine Estoc. You know what? <laughs> you want to run dual fine estocs? I'm okay with that. This guy has an archivist as well. Nice. But I think I think we're gonna have him be a sort of more of a melee type character here for us as much as possible. And you know what? This brigandine does minus fifty, and it's only minus and only ten damage resistance. So we might as well give him a nice piece of uh, plate armor here. He can be pretty pretty powerful guy for us. What has he got there? Here, this hat. He's got a turban. Gives him intellect. Okay. Let's check out. He's a he's a chanter. And he's got some nice might. He's got some nice uh, in intellect as well. He's got some good stats there. Like it. He's got a bunch of chants here. It does uh, minus 5 damage reduction to foes versus fortitude. It uh, summons 3 human skeletons. That's pretty shitty. But uh, he does... Um, I don't know what that is. 
March of the Co it's it's just phrases. It, it's modal. It's modal. What does modal mean? Ability that causes one effect to occur continuously. Oh, it, it, it makes this other phra phrases happen or something. Whatever. Let's see. Uh, this stuns people and then we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. We'll try and roll with the chanter. I'm interested in seeing how he works out for us. What is this little zero next to him? Oh, that's his phrases. Okay. Yeah. Following your lead. Yeah, okay. Seems like a really cool class. I am very interested in it. So I'm excited about it. <laughs> what does that do? March of the Kamoa. All right, we'll, we'll try yeah. it out. We should probably change our party's formation again. So this fellow. I said, can you? Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 do this. You know what? I have a better idea now. Be like something like this, maybe? Could work. Yeah. I think this is pretty cool. Yeah, got it. Why are you still not being correct? Hold on. Hold on. Okay, now now it's better. Uh let's take some mushrooms. We're probably not gonna have time to explore the keep this episode, but we can explore around the keep for sure. Let's turn on speed mode. Fast mode, come on guys. Be a little bit faster. Keeping an eye out. Yeah, keeping an eye out on the keep. Skein bones. Can't open this up? I guess not. Oh well. Let's just move on. I'm excited to have a chanter in our group. I think it's a really cool class. I mean, based on what I've seen, it's very unusual, and I look forward to learning how to use it. See if there's anything we can loot here. Evidently not. Oh well. Let's just head inside the keep, I suppose. Yeah, I probably want to save before we do this. So let's save our game. <sighs> I have not had a good experience with keeps so far, I guess. It looks like this place has been abandoned for years. Oh man. I guess that means there should not be any enemies here. <laughs> That's probably probably a little bit uh, too... Yeah. Oh no! No! Why? I don't like you. Whatever. Okay. Yes. We got some anti-damage resistance stuff. He's going to be using March of the Kanoa. Emboldens allies in the area, giving them bonus to fortitude and will. At oh, okay. I see how it is. I see how it is. Okay, we're wrecking the face right now, so I'm not too mad about this. Honestly, um, we should probably have Durant come up here and be a war hero. Yeah, there we go. Now we're probably in pretty good shape. Yeah, he got some words too, so now you can use, uh, or he got some phrases too, so now you can use his spell. You know, I like this uh, interpretation of the bard type class a lot better. I think it fits in with the universe nicer, nicer as well. Like, instead of a bard, it's it's sort of like a chanter, you know, and they gather like uh, stories and shit. I don't know. What are these? Small flame blights. Well, let's attack them. Anyways. Oh my gosh, Durant. Where are you, my friend? My very good friend. You have to use your abilities to help our guys out here. All right, well, maybe you didn't need to do that because we totally wrecked face. But that's okay. <laughs> All right, another Will-O-Wisp. Um, just kill it. I mean, realistically, there's not much it can do against us. Yeah. We're kind of wrecking face right now. I hate to uh, sort of toot my own horn here, but I think we I'm getting a lot better village. at this game. We've done nothing to you. What? You can't do this. Spectral smoke churns all around you. At first, you see nothing except the haze, but gradually, you make out a wizened, hunched shape of an old elven man. His face and bone-thin arms are smeared with paint. You can't do this! He shakes his head, spitting the words at you. Do what? This is our village! Our home! The Nine Claws have lived here almost 50 generations. We were here long before your kind brought war to our lands. You can't just burn it all! <laughs> have mercy, soldier! Our warriors have all gone! <laughs> You can't burn us all because of them! 
He reaches out to you and opens his mouth to say something, but all that emerges is a series of violent coughs. He falls to his knees, choking on the thickening smoke. Flames overtake the vision as you back away. Okay, that was weird. Um, so before we enter the keep, I just want to explore the grounds around it. Come on, guys. Get into order. Are we missing somebody? Yeah. Dear, what are you doing all the way back there? Come on, son. Hmm. Get with the program. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's wreck some face. Yeah, I saw. I thought this game was gonna be like way harder based on that first dungeon. That like, and also the first uh, time yeah. I spent in the Veilwood. But it's getting it's getting pretty like pretty easy. <laughs> I hate to say it, but you know. I don't want to say it's too easy, I'm just saying it's like, you know, a lot easier than it seemed like it was going to be. Wow, that was real quick. Who did that massive amount of damage? Hold on a second. Somebody did like... Okay, Dingle Bingle did 33 and then they did 41. I thought it said 41-33, like one person did that much damage, and I was like, holy shit, that's insane. No but no, that would be ridiculous. So, that didn't actually happen. Really, more, uh, more of these assholes? Fine. See if I care. I'll fight you. I ain't afraid to fight. Let's go, Durant. Let's use some of this nonsense. Adir, stop being charmed, man. You're kind of like an important part of this whole program. Alright. That was really easy. Um. Yeah. Oh, does he run out of words after the end of every... Or phrases after the end of every battle? Okay, that's that's interesting. Raw attack! Yay! That was really quick. Why are these shadows such, like, weak sauce enemies now? <laughs> I guess we, we've leveled up a lot as well, so we're probably a lot stronger than we were before, and as a result, these enemies seem like kind of a pushover. I guess that's, like, the sense of uh, progression you get in RPGs, you know? Show us that you've made some progress. Progress. Okay, let's go. Attack! Yeah! Nicely done. Uh, that's not good. You, sir. No, 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 no. You, sir. You will use this attack. Deal some raw damage. And you, save him. And you, save him as well. Come on, just hurry up. Yeah! <laughs> nice shot with the pistol there. I like it. Okay, we're doing a good job sure. here. This is a hedge. It's growing in shaggy heaps and stuff. It's very shaggy. Very heap. So hedge, etc, etc. So we can go inside of this house as well, I suppose. Um, should we? Let me see. Why not? Let's check it out. If it's like a huge map, that'll be unfortunate, but... You know... It, it seems like it's kind of a big map, actually. <laughs> oh well, uh, we'll ch we'll check out as much of it as we can. You know what? I I do want to I want to check out the outside though. I want I want to see what's there. Because like once we once we scout out the outside, then we can sign sort of then we can venture inside, right? I don't want to go in without knowing what's around. Exactly. Shh. There might be something around here that I missed because I wasn't sneaking around. But it doesn't seem like it. And let's check, take a look at the map. So basically, this is an eastern Babacan. So there there were basically two entrances here, I think. This one, and then there was this one. No, there was this thing too, which I don't know what that means. Is that even an entrance? I don't think this was an entrance, actually. No, it's not. Okay. No, it was. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll see. Um, if they're different buildings, then we could we can explore actually both of them, right? No, these are, they're different buildings. Okay, well... Yeah, that, the other one was Bright Hollow. So I don't know what we'll explore next time around. But uh, for now, thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.